One of the main things that has changed in Hong Kong is neon lights are becoming less and less common in replacement for LED lights, which frankly, it's pretty ugly. <coughs> hey, Kit here. Is Hong Kong still good for street photography? In short, yes. I'm using my anamorphic lens to do some street photography. It's kind of my love-hate lens. I kind of love the effect that it gives. It's just a pain in the ass to use. It's a 50mm 1.8 APS-C lens, which is around 75mm for a full frame. This was around 11pm at night. Definitely a lot less people, which is a pro. Uh, the disadvantage is that a lot of the lights, the neon lights, are turned off. So this photo spot is pretty popular in this location, which is uh, Mong Kok. So this bridge is really long and you can get some really nice photos along most of the bridge and this is pretty much where I spent most of my two hours. I wanted to get the two buildings as sort of like a crevice. It turned out pretty good actually. Walking around in flip-flops. So right now I'm just kind of scouting for any interesting spots. So for this shot, I actually wanted to get a single taxi, but I just didn't have that timing. Um, I needed to focus the lens. The couple of shots before that were a little bit blurry, so I kind of lost my um, opportunity there. There was this guy that rang past me on the bridge, and I thought, oh, okay, he's, he's chasing for something. It actually turned out he was chasing for the bus, and I got this really well-timed shot of him running for the bus. Uh, you can see that he's running for it, and bam! Unfortunately, he, he did miss the bus, so sucks to be him. I'm pretty happy with this one. So again, still scouting around for decent spots. I ended up on the streets actually and took this one shot off the minibus driver, which I actually really, really like. I always try to remind myself, because I'm in these places, interesting things may seem a little bit mundane or everyday to me. So I always have to try to remind myself that this is something that you don't really see in other places. Having the mist filter on, on this lens was a mistake. The minibus light is a little bit too strong for my liking. So I actually wanted to get another shot of another minibus passing by this exact same road. I waited a little bit, but it, it didn't really happen. So I just left. So even though there are a lot less neon signs around Hong Kong these days, you still can take interesting shots. Sometimes for this lens, it does take quite a few shots to start warming up and for me to get in the groove. Instead of relying on the screen or the viewfinder, which I pretty much never use, I'm starting to understand which setting I need to have it on to get a general sense of the focus. But uh, overall, I thought this session tonight was pretty good and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time. See ya.